What up all my fight fans? So, the Stockton bad boy, the Stockton king himself, I guess you could say, Nate Diaz, had pretty much made out a statement or has pretty much said that he is open and wants to fight Leon Edwards at UFC 300. What do you think about that, guys? Let's backtrack a little bit, shall we? Um, Nate Diaz had uh, pretty much said it would be tight for him to fight at UFC 300, but there's nobody for him to fight. And then a few fighters, of course, right away when they hear that one of the biggest MMA superstars wants and is interested in fighting UFC 300, the guys that don't have no fight, uh, fights booked already pretty much throwing their hat, their name in the hat. Like Dustin Poirier wants to go at it with him. Even though those guys were booked to go against each other, I think it was back in 2018, if, I, if I'm correct, at MSG. But I think, believe Dustin Poirier ended up being hurt and the fight um, ended up falling through. And then also, a guy who is possibly booked up for Conor McGregor, I'm talking about Michael Chandler, wants to go against Nate Diaz as well. Again, you know, this is a superstar. Nate Diaz is a superstar and anybody and everybody wants a piece of Nate Diaz. But Nate Diaz, pretty much he said he's not too interested in these guys. And he's not even interested in taking on a trilogy fight for Conor McGregor. But what he is interested in is taking on Leon Edwards. A guy that he almost finished in the fifth round of his fight with him. I believe that was back in 2021. So, yes, I do believe that Nate Diaz is going to be coming back soon. Um, does he need an opponent? Absolutely. Do I believe it's going to be Leon Edwards? No. But it would not surprise me if it is. Because Leon Edwards is pretty much taking on all comers. Leon Edwards has been doing everything he can do, could do for the UFC. He's given a shot to Kobe Covington, who a lot of us didn't feel like deserved a shot. Um, and I'm sure with the superstar status and the big blockbuster of the pay-per-view with three UFC 300 you would need some big names on that card and you can't get any bigger than Nate Diaz I'm not just saying as a Diaz fan I'm just thinking as a businessman it's a great opportunity to have um, a big star like that going against Leon Edwards and these two kind of got a little bit of a history with each other just a small bit Leon Edwards did dominate Nate Diaz 100% for uh four minutes and 30 seconds basically you could say but those last 30 seconds, it seems like everybody remembers that Leon Edwards got rocked. That Leon Edwards was pretty much the most hurt he's been in and I can't even remember how long. I mean, Kamaru Usman pretty much had him defeat in their second fight. But he wasn't really ever hurt. Leon Edwards was clearly hurt. Leon Edwards was wobbled. Leon Edwards literally pretty much, I guess you could say this, if the, if the fight lasted one more minute... It would have been very possible that Leon Edwards would have got knocked out. Very possible. But you never know. And the, it didn't happen. So you can't necessarily say that. But I can see the, the, the possibility of this fight do, you know, transpiring for sure. Um, but with that being said, guys, I would like to know what you take. On what your take on this. I mean, could he go come in and skip the line? Skip over Bala Muhammad? Sean Brady, uh, I mean, Shafkak Rachmanov, all these other great up-and-comers and pretty much become a uh, welterweight uh, title contender at UFC 300. Or maybe Nate Diaz would be willing to, you know, for the right amount of pay, take on someone like Dustin Poirier or Michael Chandler. Or you never know, finally, we could get that trilogy with him and Conor McGregor. I would love to see it, but it looks like Nate Diaz is coming back to the UFC and I am super excited. Excited for him to come back and super excited for to see him in some of these matchups. So let me know which one you think is going to happen first. Let me know in the comments, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.